Christianity. Yeah? Christianity. Touchy subject. Yes. Hi. Hello. Good morning. Good afternoon. And good night. So, I'm Elroy. Okay! I'm Fuzzy. And you can tell tension is high tonight. Cause it's... And we're talking about religion here. Yes, Christianity. Well, yeah, one in, in general. particular. Um, it's touchy and a more serious subject, but we don't want it to be too serious because... Why should everything be so serious? Straight from the Joker's mouth. And not from, yeah, you know, not 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 from the uh, not from the movie. So anyway, uh, well, you want to start out? I would start out by saying that I, my base beliefs are 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 based in Christianity. Though as a human being, I do question certain things and wonder why we'd so blindly follow things. You know. I agree. I totally agree. It's really, yeah, it's really hard to understand. I mean, I started out Christian, but yet at the same time, I'm still thinking like, you know, it's it's really hard to believe. But yet I understand the whole, like I said before, the whole thing of having something to believe in. Exactly. You know. Well, that's that's a good. Whenever thing. times are rough, or you know, anything, really. But yeah, so we can we use we use Christ or we use any religion really or we use anything to describe things that we can't understand or to help us through problems that we can't handle on our own or so if we're anger like people yeah. are angry they you know curse at god or exactly. whoever well it ha it's basically know. someone to blame or someone to be there for you that is that isn't you know that isn't physical mm -hmm. like a real person it's just the way it's like a, a mechanism for us to cope with things no matter what they be, right? Is what is what I believe. What is what I kind of believe. So it's, it's where you're to, torn. You're torn. You know. Yeah, you want somebody to blame for the things that are bad, and you want somebody to, you know, to thank for when the things are really good, or you know, somebody to explain things that you can't understand. Is essentially what I'm saying. And with like certain religions, how they say like if if you don't believe 100% by the book and whatnot, you're going to hell and all this and that. Exactly. I don't believe that. I really don't. It, there's just I just I can't believe that. You yeah. know. So if ba yeah, basically, if uh, if we have if we were given free will by God, mm -hmm. and this book was made. And the Bible was made, and it's given you a set of conditions in which you have to live your life in order to be able to go to heaven. And if you don't live by this, you're going straight to hell. So basically, it's giving you an ultimatum as to whether you want to live your if you want to live the life the way you can, and you know it'd be bad, and you you just go to hell for it. You know, so you're given free will, but really you don't have a choice in the end. Well, here's the it's thing, though. I see that. Here's the thing, though. We're supposed to be made in His image and and whatnot. If we have so much personality, humor, and whatnot, you know, things that make us laugh, you know, who's to say that this person? And you know, we're always changing our minds. So mm -hmm. if we're supposed to be made in this person, this guy's image, who's to say that he hasn't changed his mind? And who's you know who's to say that the message would have even gotten to us in the first place? Because right. over time. Humanity has evolved to think that people that say they speak to God or God has spoken to them, that we've, we've come to think that they're crazy, basically. So if anything new had happened in that department, nobody really would have listened in the first place. And people's excuse for this would probably be that, well, God would have made everyone listen. But no, he wouldn't have, and we would have viewed it the way that we would, you know? Yeah, somebody was just a crazy loon. Yeah, so... There's I no, agree there, yeah. Th you don't think God can change his mind, but he's given several people choices throughout the throughout the Bible, you know, after he's made one decree. Mm -hmm. And he's also changed from the Old Testament to the New Testament, and he changed the way that things were to the way that things are now by doing so. 
So there's evidence that supports that God changes his mind, which also God or Jesus that changed it. They're the same. Was it? They're the same being. Well, that 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 depends on, on what you believe. They're supposed to be the Trinity. Yeah, where he's the Son and all this and that. And in I, way, I honestly don't think that all actions would point back to God anyway, because God sent Jesus to die, and it, it depends on what you look at from that too. But God sent Jesus to die for our sins to be the sacrifice for everyone. So they wouldn't have to go to hell. Right. But we still have to go to hell if we don't listen to them, basically. So it's like, hey, I made you with free will, but if you don't listen to me, you're going to burn forever after you die. But here, Here's the thing, though. For me, with the Holy Trinity, mm -hmm. um, you, you mean to tell me that God is so powerful that he can do whatever he wants, but he can't say he does have a son, that he can't take and say, here you go, and give him powers to do basically the same thing. That he is not powerful enough to apparently do that, but he's more powerful. But he's powerful enough to just make you think that he's Jesus. Well, I think basically he was sent, and when he became, or when he was human, or whatever. Are you saying that he wanted to come down here, die for us, that God did, and like, but he still apparently can't just give somebody else, you know, the gift of God to be able to like heal and whatnot. Well, no, I guess he, it's basically, he didn't give us anything because he wanted well, I mean, like, like, like Jesus, like, you don't think that he can, he was powered, he's powerful enough to give Jesus the ability to heal, to heal people. Heal people. Oh, well, yeah, but we Type all have deal. the, we have the ability to heal people, like, but it's through, through no, I mean, back and then, back then, where they were saying that he was healing him with, you know, laying his hand and all this and that. Yeah, but we were all given the ability to do that. We just don't have the faith to do it, apparently. So if we're, if we're created in the image of God, we should be able to do trinity, you know? every. We should be able to do everything that Jesus did. Basically, I don't know. I. It makes you question on how like he supposedly healed people. I don't know. Um, it's just, just because the human body is so interesting and amazing and it's in its own how it heals you know well yeah but we're we're talking more along the lines of not how his miracles worked yeah i know i know and i was just talking about the holy trinity and how i don't think that i don't agree that it has that he was you know jesus the way you don't that, believe that god I, was jesus no i don't i i feel i feel as though he has the if he has the power to have un, you know infinite amount of power, there's no no reason why he couldn't give it to somebody else to go do other do the stuff for him. What I don't understand is if he knew. I mean, all, I think it's his son, not him. Like if God knew all. I guess you could say that I think that. Well, I don't wouldn't say I think that Jesus is a demigod, but I still think that you know he definitely has has a, has a power. No, I understand. You know, I think that uh, basically all. <clears throat> If God, if God uh, created the world, and he's, om he's omnipresent, omnipotent, omni, whatever, he's all-knowing, all-seeing, all-consuming, he's all around. Uh, how, why would he create humanity in the first place knowing that so many of us would be doomed to, like, hell? Right. Because he can see everything and knows everything. And plus, like, if, if this is true, where, where did God come from? If God had existed for all eternity, what 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 would have created God? Because as we know, nothing nothing could come from, or, or he can't come from nothing. They couldn't have always been. There's no possible way for something to live or be present forever. Well, if if you go by with like science, science has proven has like kicked that in the bucket with religion apparently, well, with but, the whole Big Bang theory. Yeah, but really with the Big Bang Theory, all that is is signifying what we can see up to the beginning of the universe. But True. really we can't see beyond that, which could be the expansion of a whole other universe that was before ours, ending. Let's not get into that. Yeah, I have something to say about that, but I'm not going to. That It's crazy. So, well, it's about like the multiverse. But anyway. And even another thing is like... At the end, it says at or it says that God will create a new heaven and a new earth. So how do we know that the world hasn't already ended and right. a new world has been created? And we're living on it. Yeah. Okay. And will this cycle continue forever? 
Because if he does do this, will he take away our free will? Will he take away that? Because if not, it'll just happen again. So basically God will be creating and destroying planets for the rest of eternity, if that's how it'll be. And humanity will just be remade. Seems pretty cruel to me. Yeah. Well, the first testament was pretty uh, stern and pretty cruel. freaking crazy. It's like he was just experimenting. <laughs> yeah. So it, it's disturbing, like the things that would be done to people. Mm -hmm. But I really, it's really confusing too. So it's really, it's really hard to believe in something that's. I think the Bible contradicts itself so many, so in so many different ways. Like you can read one thing and then somewhere else in the book it'll contradict itself. And it makes me it it that it, it makes me question it, put it that way. The it's, book itself. It's 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 interesting. It's just that whenever we try to question it, like anyone that's really like a real devout Christian will tell you that you know, it, God's the only one that knows, and that's their default question. Here's the thing, or their though. default answer to any question they can't answer. It's like, well, uh, God, God can, God will answer that. True. God's got this. But here, here's the thing, though. When it comes to the Bible, and when it was made, and all this and that, you know, we are the ones that wrote it down, and like, humans were the ones that wrote it down, and we we are humans. To error is human, so we're always wrong. We are. And we always have some sort of flaw. I mean, we're right at times, but we're always wrong. So how much do we know of it is really true? I'm not sure at all. It's just, uh... <clears throat> but yeah, basically everybody, everybody reverts back to, reverts back to, uh... Choosing some, or choosing God, or choosing some sort of, uh, being that's almighty to answer questions that they can't, even when the questions are about the beings themselves. Yeah. So we just... I don't know, I can't... <laughs> it's, a, it's, a tough, it's a tough subject that you wanted to hit. And it is tough to talk I, about. I think, uh, I think we're doing a good job. <laughs> but at the same time, you know, we're not trying to, to start a fight here. We're not trying to, to cause any type of, of, you know, world war or anything like that. It's just... It's just... Open minds to possibilities yeah, and so questioning just, and not sitting by like... Yeah, so some being sort of like robot. Sheep. Yeah, I'm sure that God God gave us the will to think for ourselves for and, a reason. Yeah. Yeah, and if we can do so, and if God is real, then we should. We should question things. You can't just go into things blindly without, without, a, you know, without trying to ascertain the situation. But I have no problem with anybody that believes in their religion, you know? Right. It's that's that, your belief. That's part of free, that's you know, part that's of your part freedom. Of, yeah, that, that's about, yeah, you know, that's what makes you, you. But, yeah, I've had a, uh, had a good, this is good, I think. We should, well, I'd like to. Uh, is that, is that everything we got here? That's pretty much what we were going to cover, and we're probably into it pretty good. So, don't take this as us saying you should change your religion, or be... Or just, you know, to stop what you're doing, just, you know, a little something for you to to think about. That's yeah, all. and you can totally post comments. Uh, if you don't like questions. ours, or if you don't like our opinions and our questions, or you know about religion and whatnot, yeah, go ahead and say something if you want to. But yeah, <laughs> it, it's, yeah. it's pretty. It's pretty rough to. To go on there because we don't want to make anybody mad, but some people might get mad. Well, it'll happen. Yeah. So feel free to leave your comments, and we'll. Uh, yeah, that's what we haven't done. We'll answer. Like them. and subscribe. Aha! <laughs> uh -huh. So good morning and good afternoon and good night. Oh, cool. time. <laughs>